this episode of The Cooking Show. I'm Marco Ifredi, and today I'll be cooking a very uh, old dish, a peasant dish from Italy. Um, it is with uh, long pasta, and it, uh, you make it with olive oil and garlic, and you can even spice it up if you want. Um, but here we're going to start with the garlic. Um, so what you can do with the garlic is, you know, get it all prepped. And what a lot of Italians will do is they will cut it very thin, typically with a razor blade. I'm sure you've seen this in uh, some films, perhaps like a mobster film. But you get it as thin as you can, and this goes in with the oil. Um, so you get the oil ready while this is going on. You don't want to put too much, but you can if you want. Um, I'm kind of a garlic guy. But yeah, so that's all good there. And so we get this going with the oil, with the olive oil. So this here is Filippo Berio. I'm not sure where this is from. Perhaps Tuscany. And you just get only a little bit in there. Kind of get it all around. Close this here up. Turn your heat. Get it real low. You don't want to burn the garlic. You take your garlic. And you stick it in there. You sprinkle it in. Just like that. See, not too much. Now it's going to heat up and while you're doing that you want to get your water boiling so we're going to do that as well make sure it's hot this dish uh, when I do go to Italy it's often made usually with a creamier sauce um, but uh, when I eat it at home, when I make it, my mother makes it, perhaps my grandmother makes it, it's, uh, it's going to be made like this. It's, it's very lean for a, a carbohydrate, and it, uh, it fills you up, but it doesn't bog you down. Let's see about that water. So while this is filling up, we're going to go to a break, and uh, it'll be boiling by the time we get back. Welcome back. So the oil has just started to simmer. Now we're going to take a look at that. So when it gets to this point here, with the, the simmering, the garlic starts to simmer, you want to turn it down a bit, quite a bit actually. And at this point you can add some spice, some red pepper flakes, if you so desire. And they do need to be cooked, these flakes. And you kind of let it go for just a little bit. I've added some more garlic during the break. So you're going to make sure that these aren't burning. So just turn them individually or in groups if you can. So they look fine right now. Just kind of give them a little turn. So what you can do at this point when the garlic is simmering this way, you can take a look at it and see how dark it's getting. It's getting pretty dark. So by this point, it's going to keep cooking. So you're going to want to shut it off. And can add a little bit of your leaves. I have your basil. You can add some basil to it. Not too much, of course. And kind of turn it a bit. And 
trick is to be a little bit gentle here. And so at this point, when the water is almost to a boil, um, you want to get your salt ready, your iodized salt, and uh, get ready to put it in there as soon as it starts to rumble. Uh, and the reason for that is so the water can uh, juggle the salt all around and mix it evenly in with the water. By the time you uh, get your pasta in there, it will be uh, much, much more efficient. This is the uh, Italian way. There's a lot of different Italian ways, but this is the, uh, the Roman way. ON TV encourages you to go back to school and attend our 10-week video production workshop. Classes meet on Monday nights from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. and offer instruction on studio production, field production, and non-linear editing. The cost is $55 per person, and upon completion of the class, you get access to ONTV's facilities and equipment to produce your own program or short film. For more information, give ONTV a call at 248-393-1060 or visit orionontv.org today. Welcome back, now we have uh, boiling water. It's time to put some salt. The idea is not to put too much, because it's really gonna flush. So now you have salt, and then you put your pasta, make sure it gets really in there. So, the pasta is in there, and we've done a good job with our uh, garlic here. It's a little bit uh, chippy, but uh, it's a good color, and so are the uh, red pepper flakes. So that looks good for now. What we can do is, we can give this a stir here. We'll use this. Gonna mix it up. The pasta is gonna cook very fast as we waited until the rumble and we threw the salt in there. See now it's rumbling even more. It's, it's a very good sign. Stick this right here. Now that needs to be turned down. It's going to be good to take the tongs and kind of separate them. The pasta will stick, make, make uh, no bones about that. Um, we don't usually throw it at the wall, but uh, we can throw it at the wall metaphorically and taste it. And typically what I like to do is I like to wash dishes while I'm going, so that way by the time it's finished I have hardly anything to clean, and I kind of just get to sit and uh, relax after I eat, you know, food coma or not. So the pasta is progressing. It's starting to look very wavy, like a mop or uh, somebody's hair. Now might be a good time to try it. If I can grab one. Yeah, it's very hot. Let's see how our salt flush did. So. Tastes salty. It's still quite hard, but we are getting there. The garlic is going to add even more to the flavor. Um, what I've done with the garlic is, you know, it's going in the pasta. Um, I don't really see this often at restaurants, but I see this often homemade. Um, 
What my dad actually does is he'll take the garlic and he'll eat it just like this. Um, it's, it's something I've only ever seen him do. Um, but uh, garlic, the reason why this is so healthy is that it'll clean out your pores. It'll uh, clean out your, your vision. I, my, my father said this to me when I was very young, and he keeps saying it. He's like a broken record. But I've verified it uh, through the Internet and the cookbooks that we have lined up on our shelf in our library. So uh, it may be disgusting to take a chomp out of one of these, but, uh, or a whole one, but uh, certainly healthy, certainly healthy. <laughs> Then we can check our pasta again. Slow it down. Let's see about that. All right, so I'm gonna give that about another minute, perhaps 30 seconds even. Give it some turns because when you turn it off, that pasta is going to keep cooking. Let's see what that just did. Yeah, that's going off now. All right. So now we're ready to strain it. And I've got these for safety. You might as well cook safely. If you can't, cook. So we're going to take this over to the strainer, which is over here in the sink. Before you dump, um, dump it all out, what you want to do is you want to take some of this pasta here and uh, throw it in with the uh, concoction that we have here. A spoon would be ideal for this. So you just kind of fill up the spoon, dump. This is something very common, but I learned it while I was abroad with my family in Italy. So that'll kind of give it a little bit of a salty zing. So we want to get the rest of this, this water out of here. Put this back. And you want to kind of, you want to shock it. So you get, you get a little bit of cold water. I don't know what this does, but it'll do something to it. I see my parents do it often. So that's good. And since that pot is too small, what we'll have to do is toss it in here. get this stuff moving around so it doesn't stick and then we'll dump this inside carefully and not by dumping you can even add parsley for a little bit of top we'll do that real soon so this is all mixed in now Give it a stir and toss it a bit. That way you can mix the oil in there.
So we have pasta, peasant pasta, very uh, old pasta, and we're going to top it off with some parsley here. And then toss that. Give it a mix. And at this point we can serve it. So we can move this garlic. This garlic will be moved for my father. <laughs> so we have our bowl here. And we can get some kind of cloth, perhaps. Aha. Uh -huh. So we'll take this and Fill that up. Looks just fine. And so we'll take this bowl and fill it up. There's my spoon. So we'll bring it up here so we don't make a mess. So this pasta can be made very dry. Uh, but not very dry, not too dry. It can be made dry, it can be made uh, wet so it slides right down. You can do a lot of different things with it and it comes out good dry or even wet. So we'll dump the rest of this in here. And so now we have Italian pasta from Rome and I wanted to show how this is how this can be eaten as well kind of ethnic way so I see a lot of people in restaurants the way they eat it, it's kind of like this and they kind of just throw it in their mouth just like this but what you can do is and you can even do it with a spoon too I'll show you that in a second you can take the pasta and you bring it up first and you roll it and then to get that last uh, to make sure it's, it's, it's got leverage, you use the rim of the bowl. I'll even show you it again. So use the rim of the bowl. And then... You have a properly rolled fork. And with the spoon, it's a lot easier. But if you go to Italy and you do this, a lot of people will watch you with a little bit of disgust. It's kind of a lazy man's way of doing it. So you roll it on the spoon here and the same thing happens. You just get a, a good roll. Hmm. It didn't come out bad either. So that's how you make pasta with olive oil and uh, garlic. It, uh, it's a very old recipe in my family and I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you. Um, is that okay? Do you want to talk about what it can be served with? Is this type of pasta you might use sauces with, or is it just fine without sauces? Do you want to talk about that? Like, what what can this be served with, or variations on how to serve it? All right. You want to touch on that? Sure. All right. I'll go back to black on the screen, and then I'll come back up. Hmm.
And so while I uh, keep myself away from this pasta here, I can give a little background on it. Um, when I eat it, usually there's a side of protein and there's a salad. Uh, usually that protein is chicken. Um, sometimes it can be uh, beans. It's often green beans. Um, and the salad, uh, in Italian cuisine, the salad, uh, you eat the pasta first, and then you eat the meat. It's called uh, primo piatto, which is the first plate. And then with the meat, that's secondo piatto. And your third one is your salad. And the reason they have it last is they say it cleans out your mouth, it cleans out your teeth at the end. Um, and this, this is just the, the kind of order of uh, things, uh, how the Italians eat. I find it very interesting, and uh, I hope you find it interesting too. Um, I hope you make this someday in your home. Thank you for joining me.